Welcome to lesson two. We're going to begin modeling some components and building up a library. And uh, before we do that, uh, I'm going to just do a couple of things. I'm going to um, take off a couple of these things here that we're not going to be using under display. UI elements. Just grab that. We don't really need our time slider or the range slider, so it just gives us a little bit more room, uh, a little more real estate to work in. And the other thing in our perspective window, you can see um, the cameras here for our image planes. Uh, sometimes those uh, get a little annoying to look at, so I'm going to turn those off under show and uncheck cameras. So we're just left with our grid right here. All right, I'm going to come into my front view where we're going to begin modeling the centerpiece here, the torso. Up here on our custom shelf, I'm going to click polygon cylinder, dropped it down here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and just move that up into position roughly. And keeping everything on the origin, uh, you don't want to grab the center thing and accidentally, you know, drag it off a little bit to the side here. It's important that it stays on the, the origin. So let's keep it there. And I'm going to select polygon cylinder 1 and take the subdivision axis down to 12. Let's punch that in there and the caps down to 0. All right, and go ahead and scale it up, R on the keyboard. Scale it up and just kind of move it down into position here. There we go. I need to just go a little bit more like that. So you can see my numbers over here. If you want to follow along with that. Okay, I'm going to drop in some edge loops, or the insert edge loop tool. Put my first one here, another one down here. These are going to be creating the lips here when we extrude those. So I'm just going to click on that. This will uh, deactivate. You can also hit Q on the keyboard to end the process. Okay, I'm going to right mouse click. Select face and grab the two front faces here for the chest plate. And uh, in our window here, here we are. We're going to go ahead and extrude those. All right. So we're just going to center it on the uh, world space instead of the, on the local. And just pull that straight out, and you can actually see my numbers over here on the side. I don't want it out very far, just a little bit of a little bit of an extrude. Okay, just leave it like that. Let's just round it off to uh, 0.08. All right, now I'm going to do the same thing uh, along the top and the bottom here. So uh, the way you select around here, you can always hold shift down. Uh, a little faster way is to click the first one, shift click the second one, and then double click the third one, and that will send it around in that direction. Okay, I hit extrude again. And I'm just going to grab that and pull it out. Grabbing the Z manipulator and pulling that out. And you can see my numbers right down here. I'm going to make it the same, 0.08. Come down to the bottom and repeat that process. OK. And extrude. Manipulator's on the back side here. Just pull that out. And 0.08. All right. So that's the, the main part right there. I'm going to select the face on the top now, and we're going to uh, extrude that. Let's go to our front view. Here we are. still have that selected. I'm going to hit Extrude, and just pull that up. I'm going to hit R on the keyboard, grab the center one, and click and drag to the left, scale it down. These are flaring up like that because I uh, pulled the shoulders up. Uh, we'll do that kind of after we shape everything, but they are coming up um, to 
create the shoulder uh, area right there. But right now we're just going to create the base shape as part of our library of components because uh, we're going to use this shape to create this one as well as this down here. And then we'll customize each one uh, as we need to a little later on. All right, so with that uh, there, I'm going to go ahead and insert an edge loop right there. It's a little bit thinner than this one. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to right mouse click, hold down the shift key, double click that one, sends it all the way around, coming back out to my perspective view, and selecting extrude. So it's sort of coming in on a, an angle here, as you would expect it. I'm going to make it very thin. Uh, I don't want it uh, quite as pronounced as the other ones. Uh, scale it down a little bit. It's creating a little bit of a lip right there. Okay. So that is that piece. I'm going to select the center face again. And we're going to create the neck area. Uh, I think I'm going to push this one down just a little bit, recess it just a little more, like that. Then I'm going to extrude that, center it, activate. Uh, if I click on this, it will activate the scale. You can see the blue one in the center there. I'm going to click and drag that to the left, bring it into where the, the neck would start. Okay. Extrude again, center that. It's not really, uh, it's kind of on the origin already. I'm just uh, making sure it stays there. And I'm uh, doing this a little differently. Uh, I think it was recessed down in there before. I'm going to actually bring up a little bit of a collar. So just above that. And maybe uh, flare it out a little bit. So I just activated that. Click and drag the center one to the right. Scale it up. So just kind of flaring out that collar a little bit. It's kind of complementing this angle right here. Okay. Let's hit extrude again. Clicking this to center it. Activating the scale, bringing it in. So that's going to create the thickness now. And then extrude one more time. Center it, and we're just going to push that down in. So we'll push it down a ways just to kind of get it out of view. And then hit delete on the keyboard to delete that face on the inside because we don't need it. All right. So let's come back out here and take a look at that. Okay, if we hit, uh, if we go back to object mode and select three on the keyboard. See, it's pretty soft right now. We're going to need to insert some edge loops to create tension lines to harden up these edges along here. So we're going to go back to one. And I'm going to start on the inside right here just to hold this edge together. I'm going to just drop one in here. All right. And one right here. And I'm not going to drag them up really close to the edge here. I'm going to actually back off a little ways. I want uh, hard edges that are a little bit on the soft side. And I'm dragging this one in here in the, just in the center instead of on one on each edge. And I'm going to hit W on my keyboard and actually pull it up a little bit. This is going to round it out just a little bit more. Okay. So again, I don't want super hard edges. Uh, it's a cartoony character. It's also uh, a young character. It's a young Tin Man character, kind of Tin Boy character. So I want to keep the edges just a little bit softer. I'll drag this one down here. This one I want a little bit harder edge because it's a transition point from one of the pieces to the next. But everywhere where I have sort of a uh, an edge like this, I'm going to try to keep them on the soft side. So I'm dragging that one there. Any of these sort of lips, I'm going to keep those kind of on the soft side. So that will be a harder transition there. Harder one right there. I'm not going to put one on this edge. I'm going to drop one in the center again. Hit W on my keyboard and pull that up. All right, that kind of rounds it out a little nicer. 
I can actually uh, scale it up too, since we're on an angle here. We should probably scale it up a little bit. And then uh, maybe just drop it down a little bit like that. Okay, it's a little bit better. Uh, so this is a transition point here, so I'm going to make that a little bit harder edge. Also one right here. Okay, that's our little chest plate right here, so we're going to have to put tension lines around that as well. Okay, so I'm going to uh, drop one here. Okay, transition point. Put one in the center here, hit R on the keyboard. There's my manipulator. I'm grabbing the one in the center, clicking and dragging it to the right a little bit just to round it out. And continuing on with uh, edge loops. So uh, I'm going to drop one here. So it's creating an edge loop even on the, the plate right here in the front all the way around. And uh, we're going to have to drop them in uh, on this as well. So one here. Actually, let's do this one a little bit differently. Uh, we'll drop one in on this side. So I want this to be a, a hard edge. It's going all the way to the bottom here. Another transition point right here. I want this to be a hard edge. And uh, I'm not sure if we got that one in on the top one. I think I have to go back and check. Hard edge right there, softer edge here. R on the keyboard, grab the center manipulator, drag it to the right and scale it out a little bit. Okay, and we'll be working with the bottom here a little bit later. Uh, I think I missed the tension line up here. Let me just check and see. I did, so I missed this one right here. Let's go ahead and drop this one in right there. Okay, so we still need to, uh, and then we need to drop one in on this side of the chest plate. And then uh, this is still going to go uh, probably a little bit too soft. Let's uh, end that process there. Right mouse click, go back to object mode, three on the keyboard. Let's take a look at it. Uh, it's not bad. I don't mind the kind of roundness right here. Uh, I think we'll probably go ahead and let those corners go a little soft like that for now. It feels a little mushy right here. Uh, let's go back, hit one on the keyboard. And I think what I'm going to do is, um, let's see if we can just drop one in this way. Yeah, so this is just, uh, the plate. I'm not sending it all the way around, it was just grabbing the, the plate right there. And uh, that's probably going to, we're going to lose that little soft edge right there. But um, let's hit three on the keyboard again. Uh, maintain a little bit of it. Okay, so I think that's nice. It uh, It's definitely defining that little plate in the front there. So let's uh, move forward. We're going to make a rivet now and uh, we'll just make one, add it to our library and uh, duplicate it and then we're going to uh, do something called duplicate special to uh, create them uh, spaced evenly apart along the front here and copy them to the other side.